So one of the projects is we're going to do an oil change. And why that's empty. We're going to replace the oil feed line, but it doesn't look like I need it. I get this heat shield off and see what's going on. The other project is battery cable, which I was at the junkyard, saved myself a bunch of money with that. And that's about it. Now we're just going to pop this heat shield off. But what I'm looking at, which is right there, is what I think I'm replacing. And that looks like it's already been replaced for my oil leaks. So there's one there, one there, and one down there. That's all I see so far. A lot of these newer cars are coming with this style stuff, and I guess it's a E10. That's what fits anyway. Looking at, there's one end of it right there, the star. It's good because I don't have that wrench. And there's the other end there. And that's all really dry. Okay. Next step, which I don't want to do, I'm going to have to try it though, is the oil cooler, which is hiding right behind all this. And there's a bunch of gaskets on it to, uh, and that's what I assume is leaking. So for oil change, I'm going to change out that rusty old plug. And as you can see, there's a lot of oil down here that shouldn't be down here. See what we can figure out. So now we got to get at the oil filter, which is a pain in the butt. And they don't give you a lot of room to even get this wrench in here. There's the oil filter. If I can't even get the camera down here to show you. It's right there. Which is hiding behind all this stuff. And if you're tackling this yourself, you need like a 24 mil socket to even get at it. Grab a couple of rags because it's going to drip on you. Put one aside. There you go. It's all out. In a mess. This is why I got the second one, because now my hands are full of it. I just give them a quick wipe out. We're going to change out this gasket here. That just comes off. We we'll get a new one for it. Now I just buy your basic oil filters. I don't drive the car hard. the new o-ring 
that just snaps oops into there once you get it the right way This is the right oil filter. Doesn't seem like it wants to snap in there. What you do is you go check your old oil filter. Okay, now I'm in a pickle. I've never been in one like this, but they gave me the wrong oil filter. And I've got no way to leave here. So we'll just put the housing back on that just so that it doesn't get anything in there put the new oil drain plug in and wait till later on That sucks. Give you guys a wipe here. Oh, should use a drink, clean cloth. There we go. So we got the wrong oil filter. We got a part that I don't need. So I'm not really getting anywhere with this. But we'll get the new. I'll get the new drain plug in, I'll clean up all around it. Part number, by GM. Just can't get over like how small these are now. There we are, we're just going to give this a... Good old fashioned. Try to get some of this cleaned up here. Now I'm guessing I should have some oil on this ring. So I'll just use a little bit of this old oil for that. Just gotta tighten that down and wait for someone to get home so I can use the car to go get the right things. We're gonna work on this corrosion thing here. So, 
we just unsnap that just a little bit just to stay it holding we're going to disconnect the negative and then we'll work on that 10 mil take that off and get it out of the way then I'm going to cheat brush here to try to clean this off the best we can to see what we're doing. Cow, that's really on that battery. I need something better. Here we go. That should do the trick. I don't understand what the heck is going on here. Here we go, we finally got it off. And without super cleaning it, here, like it's ready to fall apart. This, see what they charge me here for it. They want 130 at the dealership. Okay, that was well worth the trip. $1.73 for the part. Even if it cost me five, ten dollars in gas, it was well worth it. Then we get our new used one. Yep. Yep. Have to had to pry this open a bit. Put that on there. Put that back on there nice and neat. That seems like that's on very good. We'll reinstall this nut. <clears throat> Just like that, we'll snap that back into there, close our broken cover, and call that a day. Hey, we're back from the parts store, which was Canadian Tire that I go to. Hopefully I get the right part. I'll get that put in. The wind. Now all we're gonna do here is it's got two little four little things there and just pops in so it stays. And then we gotta put our new gasket on. We got that on, a little bit of oil on it. Now we shove her. Back in there. Wish I would have thought of this earlier. Put an extension on it, that makes it a little easier on your ratchet. Now one thing you gotta remember to do, did I bring the keys? Probably not. But bring the keys to your car. Now 
Then, of course, you got to remember to hook up your negative battery because you were doing something different. That's how nice they tighten back down. Hey, I was just working on my little video of doing my oil change, changing the battery terminal, and realized I'm missing a whack eclipse. Uh, what I was trying to say at the end is make sure you start your car up, let the engine run for a little bit after putting new oil in, and then shut it off, check your oil. Other than that, things went well. Since the oil changed, uh, I haven't had any oil leaks, which is odd. I don't know. Maybe it was all leaking from the pan. So the new drain plug worked. And then since then, I've replaced the battery because it was corroded to death. Other than that, thank you very much. Have a good one.